There is no denying the fact that we are living harsh times at this point. As people are told to stay home, they are not spending money as they used to, many are not working, companies are struggling and laying off or furloughing people all around the world. In the US in just three weeks around 17 million people filed for unemployment. Experts warn that this number might more than double in the future. Not all industries are laying off or furloughing employees though. There are some industries that have seen a huge spike in demand, income and profit as well. There is an evident surge in demand for groceries, delivery and toiletries for example and many companies are looking for thousands of people to hire. The first part of this video will cover jobs in high demand during this crisis. In the second part of it we will look at job offers from dozens of companies. So make sure to watch till end, give it a thumbs up, so YouTube shows this video to other people as well and make sure to subscribe to support the channel. Getting back to our topic, here are some jobs in high demand. First of all, grocers are seeing a great surge in demand. With an average of about $15 per hour, supermarkets are looking for employees to stock shelves and also cashiers. This is one of those industries, which was not hit like others by this crisis. The second on our list is the delivery driver. As tens of millions of people are staying at home, delivery has seen a huge spike in demand. Many companies, which still operate at this point are looking to hire delivery drivers to meet customers' demand. With an average $15 per hour, they are asked to deliver food and other packages, but they should expect to transport different items between retailers and warehouses. The next position is for retail associates, because stores and even pharmacies need employees to stock shelves due to the fact that many people are stocking up on toiletries and medicine as well. Retail associates make on average about $12 per hour. While we're at stocking shelves, warehouse workers are also in high demand. Because of many deliveries across the country, they have to make sure boxes are packed and shipped accordingly. With many people ordering online, warehouse workers are in high demand especially in the food and retail industry. They can make about $15 per hour. Restaurants, pizzerias and cafes are looking to hire line cooks, since people are ordering online. Line cooks make about $13 per hour on average. The next on the list are shoppers, the ones who do grocery shopping and delivery for others. Last, but not least, during the crisis public safety is as important as ever which is why security guards are also in high demand. In some cases, they could be hired as soon as 24 to 48 hours after applying. So these are some examples of positions that need to be filled at this point. Now let's see some companies that are looking to hire thousands of people. There is a great site, called Intersight, which gathered in one place almost 30 companies hiring during the pandemic. Let's go through them for a couple of minutes. According to in her site 7-Eleven is adding 20,000 jobs, both in-store and delivery. Ace Hardware is looking to hire workers who've lost their jobs because of the pandemic for full and part-time positions. Aldi has almost 5,000 open jobs, most of them are in-store retail positions. Albertsons, grocery chain is looking for about 30,000 employees for temporary positions. Amazon wants to hire 100,000 workers mostly in delivery and in warehouses. Costco is also hiring for many different positions. CVS is looking to hire 50,000 additional employees. Those working directly with patients can expect up to $500 in bonuses. Dollar General wants to hire about 50,000 new employees. Dollar Tree and Family Dollar are looking for 25,000 full and part-time employees. Domino's Pizza needs about 10,000 pizza makers, delivery drivers, and customer service representatives. DoorDash wants to hire restaurant workers who've lost their jobs because of the spread of this new illness. GE Healthcare needs workers to be able to fulfill the company's manufacturing needs. Grubhub is also looking for new employees to help get orders from place to place. Instacart plans to hire 300,000 full-service shoppers. Jets Pizza is hiring delivery drivers, Kroger Stores is looking for at least 10,000 additional employees. Lowe's is hiring short and long-term positions and Microsoft Teams need software engineers, sales, and more personnel. OutSchool is willing to hire thousands of teachers, since children are studying online. Papa John's International is looking to hire 20,000 people to aid in deliveries and carry out orders. Pepsi says it will hire 6,000 people. Pizza Hut has more than 30,000 open positions for virtual call center agents, cooks, shift leaders, restaurant managers, and drivers. Publix wants to hire thousands of in-store and distribution center workers. Slack is looking for customer success support, engineers, account executives, and more personnel. Target, 
retailer, is hiring in-store and distribution center hourly full-time and part-time workers. Uber Eats Food Delivery is looking for more drivers. Walgreens has about 9,500 full and part-time positions for pharmacy techs, shift leads, customer service reps, and more. Walmart is looking to fill about 150,000 temporary positions in stores, clubs, distribution centers, and fulfillment centers. Zoom needs tech support, engineers, business services reps, and others to join their team. As we don't really know when this health and financial crisis will end, it is important to be prepared for any circumstance. Even during crisis some industries will fail, while others will still be in high demand and some will just start becoming the next thing in the near future. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.